What's going on, Charles Botenston here. Today I was actually gonna be doing a video on the greatest person to defeat, which is yourself, look in the mirror, blah, blah, blah. And then I was reading through Atomic Habits. I completely just went all in with James Clear, who's the, the actual author of that. And then I went in, I took his course, his habits course, paid $200 or $300 for it, I have no idea. But I said, if I get one little thing from that, one small thing from that, which I clearly did, that's well worth $300 or $200 or whatever it is. So if you want to check out his course, it's jamesclear.com. I think it's his, is his email. Check out the book, Atomic Habits, things like that. I'll be doing a complete separate video about his book because it was it was insane. It was, it was, it was a book that you, you just start, you start reading enough and then you start saying, how am I at fault right now? What am I doing in my life to self-sabotage myself? You know, before it was self-sabotaging myself when I would make enough money, I would then spend all of it. And then I'm like, okay, maybe I have this self-sabotaging in wealth. Then I was self-sabotaging myself in health because I looked in the mirror and I was like, well, I actually like what I see. And then I would self-sabotage myself and say, well, I deserve three days off from the gym or eating improperly for four days or whatever the case is. So I handled that. The success was the biggest thing. I would I would get a ton of success and then I would say, oh, I, I don't make any more sales calls because I can't handle it. And then I reached the point where I said, actually I can and actually I want it. So there's a lot of things that led to me actually deleting Instagram and Facebook today. And obviously the reason I'm saying that is that I want to document it as much as tell you where I'm coming from. So it is Thursday, November 15th, 2018. I don't know if I'm gonna download it again or not, I have no idea, but as of right now, it's off my phone. It was already on the third page of a folder that I had to go to the folder and then go to the third page, and then I said, why the fuck am I even have this on here? I could still post in my, in my Safari browser on my iPhone, and I could go to Facebook, and I could do stories from Safari browser, and I could do Facebook and things like that, and I said, is, so this is where I really, disagree with Gary Vaynerchuk, because Gary Vaynerchuk is all in on social media. But the problem is, he hasn't really looked at the data. He hasn't really looked at how many people are comparing themselves to other people. He hasn't looked at the data. Maybe he has, I have no idea. I have no idea, you know. I'm not judging him, it's just the message that people receive is that you have to go all, all in on social media. Listen, if you're a social media influencer, you do you. I'm in real estate. I don't make money from social media. Yes, indirectly I do, but what makes me money? Sales calls, appointments, listing, closing, objection handling, presentations, that's what makes me money, showings. It's not me posting more about homes. People say, oh, okay, I guess he's successful. But the thing is, I guess he's successful is completely different than me actually going out and proactively getting business. That's where I said, I gotta end this, and I wasn't even addicted. Right now my phone is on airplane mode. I wanna get to the point where I don't even bring my phone home. I wanna get to the point where I'm an author like, what's his name, Ryan Holiday. Ryan Holiday, barely on social media. I don't even know if he is, maybe he is, isn't. I have no idea, but he has his deep work breaks. You've all, I don't know how to say his last name, who wrote Sapiens and then Homo Deus which is, I think I'm saying it right, but Sapiens essentially is one of the best books I've ever read in my life. And the second one, his second follow-up book, and then he wrote another one, I think 21 Rules to Live By or something like that. I, I'm totally butchering that, I haven't read it. But essentially both of them, he talked about, I don't think he actually, he has Facebook and Twitter, but he meditates for two hours a day, he doesn't have a smartphone, and he's one of the most successful authors and he does tremendous amounts of presentations and interviews and everything else. So it's not about the phone. It's not about the social media. It's about productivity. It's about doing the thing that you need to do. The number one thing as Gary Keller talks about, the number one thing, what do you need to do? And then what are the distractions that get in the way? The reason I brought this up is because James Clear in Atomic Habits, and I'll do, like I said, a completely different book review video. And if you're watching this, go, watch that video because I literally just break down the top probably 15, 20 topics that I get from it and I've implemented. This is the, the number one thing is that I, I've noticed it is there's a difference between guys and girls. We already know that. But the difference between distractions is that girls go on there because they're tribal. They like people, okay? Guys like things. So they go on there, they maybe 
And the vast majority, I think it's 64, 65% on YouTube are males. And that's just the, the breakdown, you know, who cares, whatever. But the thing is, they're probably going on there and they're getting distracted. That's what I was doing. I was going on YouTube and getting distracted. Anytime I'm on, the, I'm on the subway, I'm looking around at the home screens and I'm seeing mostly the girls are on Instagram and they're comparing themselves. I'm not saying one is right or wrong, it doesn't really matter, but what I'm saying is that they're all both distracted and then what happens is right when they're about to get overwhelmed or worried or have that, that moment of, do I like my life? Do I like where it's going? They get distracted. They need that relief. They need that release, I should say. They need that stimulus. So right, right on the borderline of thinking, you know what, I don't like where my life is going or I don't like the relationship I'm in, I don't like the job that I'm, I'm in or I, I need to make more money, right before they start thinking and worrying and they go inward and they say, how do I actually change this? They go to their phone and they distract themselves. That was me, I'm not saying everybody, but that was me. Oh my gosh, I want more business and then I would go on my phone and then I'm like, ah, yes. The dopamine rush of Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you know, email, text messaging, whatever. And I would get that rush. And the reason I bring this all up is because yesterday I saw on uh, a friend of mine, she just turned 37, 38, right around there. And she had a three part Instagram post talking about that at 38, she thought she would be somewhere else. In other words, she's single, she has no prospects of dating, she has no kids, she has no family, nothing, and she said she was freezing her eggs this year. When I hear that, I think, what led up to that? What were the last 10 years, okay? Was the last 10 years saying, oh, what about tomorrow? Or someday I will, and then you never get to it, and then you turn 38, and then shit actually becomes real. What if shit became real, and you actually started thinking about it at 33, 34? I've, nothing on her, but for me is that silence and the ability to actually think, okay, I need to change this area of my life has been just monumental this year. I know I'm all over the place, but the reason I say that is that right before that moment of thinking, I'm not happy with my life, we go to her phone. Or that moment right before we have to do what we need to do, whether that's sales calls or reaching out to someone or approaching a, a pretty girl out on the street or asking that guy out, we say, uh, they probably have a boyfriend. Or let's go to my phone, let's check my phone, or let's put in music. Our, our biggest distraction is gonna be social media. Our biggest downfall, downfall of happiness is gonna be social media. It used to be money, it used to be health, it used to be relationships. Then it became mainly money where people are like, I need to make more money. Then they made more money. And they're like, oh, maybe it's not this. Now it's gonna be followers, following. How many likes do I get? That is gonna bring the biggest unhappiness. I implore you to it's use social media. So in other words, this is the last thing I'm gonna say about it is, I hope I've opened up the, I guess the, the gateway or the, the ability to say, you know what? I don't think I need it as much as I, I am told by Gary Vaynerchuk, Grant Cardone. You know, Tony Robbins is barely on there. Elon Musk, I think just deleted, I think maybe two or three months ago, deleted Instagram. He is still on Twitter, I think, but he essentially said, it's just not a good place. It's not a good place to keep on posting. Obviously, yes, Tesla still has an account, but for him or high, product, high producing people, Jeff Bezos posts once every two weeks or three weeks. He notices it's good, it's a good platform, but it shouldn't be the end all be all. His whole thing is about making enough money and then giving it away, or making enough money and then putting it into Blue Origin, or Tesla making it for SpaceX, for Elon Musk. You know, these high producing people. I, I, I heard another story of Richard Bronson. You know, Richard Bronson, he, he talks about that he said no to anything that was nothing but his one thing that year. So in other words, he, had, he said no to all these speaking engagements. He turned down vast amounts of money and events and everything else because he was, I forgot what he was focused on, but he said, this is my number one thing this year. So anything that's not that, I don't even want in my brain. I don't want all these things just coming at me. There's a multitude as well is, I know this is a longer video. There's a multitude of bad things that come with social media. Number one is it drains your willpower. It drains your brain. We weren't used to getting this much stimulus on a daily basis or in five minutes. We're literally watching images, which is a video, and, and then we scroll through multi, multiple videos 
and then we think that we're then just gonna make sales calls. No, we were out in the savannah and we just saw the world in front of us and we were so present. And that's what I noticed is that I was not present. I was always distracted. I always needed distraction. I always needed that hit of dopamine. And then I started weaning off of it and I said, holy shit, I actually like this. I feel more alive, I feel more happy, I feel more present, I am more productive. And then today when I deleted it, I said, a weight came off. And I just said, holy shit, you know, there's a ton of people that need to get off video games. You know, the reason being is that you only get one life. And you, if you're living your life through someone else, say The Rock, or movies, or gaming, or whatever, that's great, that's fantastic, but you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna say, where did my 20s go? Where did my 30s go? Just like this girl said. This girl at 38 said, holy shit, this is real. I don't have any prospects of getting married, and I would like that. So imagine if she, and again, I don't know her entire life, but imagine at 32, 33, or 34, right around there, there was a moment of clarity where she said, what am I doing? What am I living for? And then you start looking at what is distracting me from doing what I really want to do. Is that videos? Is that comparing myself to others? Am I not reading enough? Am I not going to the gym enough? Is my clarity of mind completely distracted and or just such a gray area because of the amount of sugar or alcohol I'm consuming? What am I doing to my body? Am I meditating? Am I, get, am I active? Am I out there? Am I getting enough sun and vitamin D out in the real world instead of behind you know, closed doors? Yes, I'm in New York City, understandable. However, I, I understand that when I go outside, it feels good to just walk by Bryan Park or Central Park or walk down on 6th Avenue, no phone in hand, and I want, like I said, I, I already have my, my phone on airplane mode, and I wanna to get to the point where I don't even bring it home. So I implore you to do at least a detox, where you put your social media, all of them, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, everything else, in a folder on the third page. So, you, so it's, you can't even see it, because when you see it, you make it easy. You know, in Atomic Habits, they talk about, oh, you, you watch too much TV? Hide the remote with the batteries out in a, in a draw. Or you unplug the TV every time you watch, when you're done watching it. So, so if you wanna rewatch it, you have to go down and replug it in. You have to make distractions difficult to get to. It's really what it comes down to. So I eliminated it. I know that was a complete rant for 13, 14 minutes. I will leave you on this, is that I feel this is a big turning point because I always was afraid to do this because I'm being told, and it's nothing on them, I'm not being the victim at all, but I was being told by very successful people and I said, oh, they're very successful. I need to be on social media like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about or Grant Cardone and everyone like that. But the problem was is that they structured their day so that they were not distracted. They were they were going throughout their life and, and being productive. I was going throughout my life not being productive. So if you're not being productive during the day, if you're being distracted, if you are not present, if you, if you need that dopamine hit, get rid of it. Go on a detox, a one week detox. Put it on the third page, eliminate it, whatever the case is. I hope this video helps. Leave the comments below because this is a very powerful day on where where else can I get rid of things. And you know, I've, I've structured my, my apartment so there's no distractions, I have no TV, I have no iPad, I have nothing at home. I wanna structure, you know, I don't bring my phone into bed, I don't wake up next to it because it's not my alarm, Alexa is my alarm. So highly recommend that you guys Check out my video if this is after that for Atomic Habits and I will see you guys and I'll give you an update. So have an amazing day, subscribe to the video, leave the comments below of another, per, another hack that you see of being productive or another area that I wanna get better at, you know, the distractions that come into my life, I just wanna eliminate. So leave those comments below, have an amazing day as always. Talk to you guys soon.